Hello everyone, I'm Superintendent Christopher Flanagan of the Radnor Township Police Department. This is a special week for police across America. It is called Police Week, where we celebrate the great job that police officers do for the community. I would like to read a story to you. This is a very special book. Aaron and the Police Give Back to the Community. And what's neat for me about this story is that the author, Najee Grant, is a friend of the Radnor Police Department and a friend of the Radnor community. Let's get started. In a small neighborhood in Philadelphia, there was a young boy named Aaron who would soon find himself on a mission to better his community. Recent events show a rise in tension between law enforcement and local community members. As Aaron played, the stories of protests played on the television. Hey kiddo, you up for a little trip to the store with your old man? Yes, I need to put my shoes on. Don't leave without me, Aaron said. Don't worry kiddo, I'm not going anywhere without you. Aaron went with his father to the supermarket in hopes of getting his favorite snacks. Dad, can I get a bag of cookies? Sure kiddo, but only if you promise to share. I promise, said Aaron. Aaron helped his father get the groceries for their home, never forgetting to grab a bag of cookies. All right, I think that's enough groceries for today. Let's go. Okay, Dad. So what do you think we should have for dinner? Hmm. Something caught Aaron's attention, for he noticed the presence of police made everyone around sad and angry. Hmm, thought Aaron. Dad, Dad. Why is everybody sad at the police? His dad scratched his head. And so Aaron's father decided to explain to him what happened. Son, you know that there are bad people and there are good people in the world, right? Yeah, well sometimes bad people take spots that are supposed to be good and abuse that position. Do you understand? Are there still good people in those spots? Of course there are, his dad said, but it's easier to notice the bad things in life than the good ones. Oh, okay, that makes sense, said Aaron. It was then that Aaron promised to help his community. Then I'll help everyone see the good first, said Aaron. Determined, Aaron set his first sights on his best friends, recruiting them for his goal to better their community together. I'm going to help all of your friends and family in the community. You've got to help me. His friend said, well, what do you want us to do? Caught up in his excitement, Aaron realized he still didn't have any idea on how to achieve his new goals. Inspired by his determination, Mindy, Dave, Barbara joined Aaron's team and they all worked hard to make plans for the community. How about a toy drive? Yeah, and a book drive. Dad, do you think the policeman would help do these things? Hmm, I don't know, kiddo, but I'll tell you what, how about we go ask them, said his dad. Ready for the day of his meeting, Aaron did his best to dress and impress. His dad helped him get ready. Ready for his big meeting, Aaron and his dad made a trip to their local police department. You ready, kiddo? Yeah, said Aaron. Here we are, right on time. Being on time is important. Don't worry, we're here earlier than we're supposed to be. Hello, I'm Officer Costello. Can I help you? Yes, we're here for Officer Allison. Ready to achieve his goals, Aaron took the lead and spoke up first. We are actually here to meet the public relations officers. Ah, you must be our new appointment. That's me, said Aaron. Allison is right in her office. She'll be happy to see you bright and early this morning. It's important to be punctual. Yes, it is, and you are a great example, Aaron, said the police. Allison, I've got your 10 o'clock ready for you. Oh, you must be Aaron. Hi. Hi, Aaron, my name is Allison Spencer. I'm the public relations manager here, and I was very impressed with your email you sent me. I'm sure you have a lot of ideas to show me this morning. Hi, Allison. My name is Aaron, and I'm here because I want to help my community better their relationship with the police. 
Please have a seat now. What is it you'd like to share with us, Aaron? Ready for the next important stage of his goal, Aaron pitched the ideas he and Barbara, Allie and David come up with and design sample flyers. My team and I have made sample signs for ideas we have to help the community better their relationships with the police. These are great ideas, Aaron. Do you have a specific one in mind that you want to do first? A toy drive. My community has lots of children that like to go outside and play. I want all of my friends and neighbors to feel safe and happy and go back out inside and play like before. Aaron held the toy drive sign up. Well, Aaron, I think we've got ourselves an awesome idea here. Tell you what, give me a week to talk to my team here and we'll help you get this toy drive started. Really? Said Aaron. And the officer said, absolutely. A week later, Aaron and his friends received word on their plans for the toy drive. Okay, Allison, thank you for calling. That's right, I'll tell them. Bye. What happened, Dad? What did she say? Did they like our ideas? That was Allison, guys. Just now, she wanted to call us herself and tell us their entire station wants to participate in the toy drive in the beginning of the month. Aaron yelled, we did it. Hi, Joanne. We're helping with a toy drive that the police will be participating in. A toy drive? Yeah. We'll get to meet policemen and policewomen, and we get an awesome free toy. Soon, all the kids in the neighborhood got the news of the toy drive. Mommy, Mommy, can we go? Together with the team at the police station, Aaron and his friends were able to help run a toy drive that all the neighborhood showed up to. Don't be nervous here. How would you like this? The officer gave a little girl a teddy bear. It was a day of smiles and laughter, and Aaron was proud to see his whole neighborhood there. Your idea was a success, Aaron. I'm really proud of you, said the police officer. Ready for the next part of his plan to better his community relations, Aaron wanted to pursue his next event. So Aaron, what's next for you? There's so much still left to do. I'm going to do everything to help my community, said Aaron. Inspired by his true determination, more neighborhood children join Aaron in his goals of helping better their community together. Okay, Dad, and I went with Allison to the library yesterday, and they agreed to host a book drive there in one month. Oh, oh, we can ask the neighborhood if they want to have books they want to donate. We have a lot to do, so let's work hard together. Yay, said all the kids. The day of the book drive came, and it was even larger than the toy drive, as they were able to spread the word even further in the community. This is just a start. You guys, maybe next time, we'll get the whole city here. Aaron and his friends planted a garden for social justice and peace. They plan on building future gardens throughout the community. With a loving heart and a caring soul, Aaron continued to follow through and help his community. His dad, always right by his side, cheering him on. Aaron became known as a local leader for his community service often being interviewed by the news stations. Thank you, and that is the end of the book. As National Police Week is here this week, we want you to help celebrate the community and the police. And I hope that this book and Aaron's work and the story is an inspiration to you to help the community and keep a very positive relationship with our police department. Have a safe day. Mm -hmm.